Welcome to the Book Hackers Podcast. I'm Cindy Minier. I'm Tammy Crin, and we are the co-founders of the Book Hackers Club. If you're listening to this, you probably are a self-publisher who's ready to grow your business, and that's exactly why we're here. What is a book hacker, you ask? A book hacker is a self-publisher who is growing their business by creating books that provide value for their target audience while building a sustainable business. We'll cover marketing, branding, sales, and everything in between. If you're ready to fast track the growth of your self-publishing business, you've come to the right place. Our goal is simple, to help you think and act like an entrepreneur. Every Thursday, we'll share tips and resources designed to help you master all aspects of your self-publishing business while having fun along the way. Ready? Let's start. Welcome to the very first Book Hackers Podcast. Woo! <laughs> yes, thank you for joining us today. Cindy and I are so happy to have our very first podcast together and um I'll let her explain a little bit about what the book hacker is and, and her and who she is first. So go, Cindy. I'm Cindy Manier. I'm the founder of the Do to Book Creator. And Tammy and I met on Clubhouse, I think it was. Yep. About a year and a half ago. Yeah, that's right. Right when the pandemic kind of started and we got on Clubhouse and met up there it was just so fun to like finally it was kind of like um real blessing this guy's we got everything got shut down and then we're we were able to get on clubhouse and talk to a whole bunch of people in the self-publishing world and cindy and i really just had a lot to talk about (laughs) we still do (laughs) hence we started a a podcast for you guys yeah we started talking on clubhouse and we just never stopped talking (laughs) (laughs) so you're the lucky ones so we have the book hackers podcast. I'm Tammy Crane. I'm the founder of KDP for B2B, which is Kendall Direct Publishing for Business to Business, collaborating with businesses to create branded books. So we're here to um, explain a little bit about why we started Book Hackers, um, why we think this is a need for for this type of um, podcast, because it, I, we found that so many people are struggling with uh, getting books up online and actually making money with their books. So we are going to go through a few things, and if this resonates with you, give us a comment, uh, like, and share this. We are super excited to share all of our knowledge and everything we've learned and from our years of doing self-publishing, and we're just going to share it with you and build this great community. All right, let's get started talking about what a book hacker is. So have you ever wanted to write a book, but you didn't know where to start, Tammy? (laughs) Yes. Um, I have so many books in my head. <laughs> yes, I have. Yeah, yes. You know, ideas, me and ideas. I got a million of them. Yes, yes, <laughs> I have. And then, you know, it's like with the books, it's just like never getting enough attention. And that's one of the things that I, I struggled with. When I first started in 2018, I put these books up and I've told the story before, but it just went cricket. You know, it was like ugh, nothing. And I know that was your same story as well, Cindy. It's like same, same weird. story for me. Yeah. I. Mm-hmm. Uh, when I first discovered KDP and started following the advice of the so-called gurus at the time of, you know, uploading the line journals with a hundred different covers and, you know, then nothing sells and you're like, cool. Right. Are they buying my books? Which I think is probably the most common question that we hear all the time, right, Tammy? Yeah. I, we hear that so much. And, and I know the, the, it's so exciting just to learn how to get your book and for, you know, get it published. And I know I was super thrilled when I got mine in the mail and, you know, it's an actual book in my hand and all exciting. And then, you know, I'm waiting for the sales. Like everyone said before, I was like, you just put these journals up and they're going to sell, sell, sell. Yeah. And that did not happen for me uh, at all. I sold a few and I told the story and my sister was the first one to buy it and pretty much the only one to buy it. So I started rethinking and that's how I came up with KDP for B2B. And I know you came up with a doo-doo because of these things. We wanted to have a better strategy to create these books. And then Book Hackers is born. And we created this, this platform. Mm-hmm. Right. Then Book Hackers was born. So I know I know many of you are probably going, what is a book hacker? <laughs> We came up with our own definition of a book hacker is a self-publisher growing their business by creating books that provide value to their target audience. And by that, these are not the people who are spamming KDP with hundreds of the same book with a bunch of different different covers. These are not people who are 
stealing other people's descriptions. These are not people who are taking a book and just throwing it up in this this niche and uh, throwing one over there and one over there and just have no mm -hmm. plan and are just yeah. like creating books. Yeah, and um, so that's, that's, that's kind of it where we started saying, we just need to have somewhere where we can really build a business around self-publishing. I believe, and I think Sydney has talked about this, that it's changing so much in KDP because in self-publishing alone, there were so many books just uploaded that it's everything's just bombarded with line journals and low content and all those things. So it just it just became this uh, how many books could you get up there? Not finding out what the real purpose of the book is, your target market. And we're gonna go through this in a little bit further down the road. But that's sort of what the book hackers when we were talking about let's let's create something that really just builds a business for you that you have sustainable business and you're building these books for the target market, not just throwing them up and hoping they stick. That was the old days, the market changed. You know, it might have worked before, but I don't see it working at all now. Not working at all. Yeah, and in fact, book hacking, as we are defining it and we're calling it, is the art of creating engaging content that your audience needs and wants. Yes. So instead of just randomly creating books, you're going to go figure out what your audience needs and wants, and you're going to give it to them, and then they're going to buy it. And then every single book you create is going mm -hmm. to and sell frequently, and that's yep. Our, that's our goal. Yeah, I think I think that that's um, something that is so needed. We don't hear it very often, and that's why we're so excited to bring this to you. And we're creating, you know, the Book Hacker podcast. We got the Book Hackers club we have a book hackers 101 we have so many things coming up that we can't wait to share with you but we'll get into that towards the end i just i get so excited yep so let's let's get into um if you want to create a book that people actually want to read um these are the questions you need to ask yourself so go ahead i'll let you read those off cindy okay the first one is who is your audience and i think this is mm -hmm. Super important because I think so many people just create books and then they have no idea who they created a book for and then they're shocked that no one wants to buy it. If you don't know who your book is for, no one else does and they're not going to buy it. Yep. Yes. The next That's one is what, what is the purpose of your book? Mm -hmm. and the importance there is your book needs to serve a purpose. You, your book needs to provide value to somebody else. There needs to be a reason for this person to to buy it, and that leads us into the next question, why are they going to buy it? Mm -hmm. What goal is it helping them to reach? What problem is it solving for them? Why would anybody want your book? If you can't think of a reason on your own for why somebody wants your book, good luck having anybody yeah. else why they would want your book. They're not gonna want exactly. it, they're not gonna buy it either. Exactly, exactly. And, and we hear this so much and, and we bring this up because we say, you know, we'll be on social media and Cindy, you, you know, she'll tag me and say, oh, listen, or send this little post and be like, people are going, why can't I, no one's buying my book. I just published and no one's buying my book. Why is no one, that is like the question we see in social media over and over, or our groups ask us, why are, no, why isn't anybody buying our book? And these are the reasons. These are these are the the four reasons that we came up with pretty much why people are not buying your book. There's more to it, but that's a high level. Yeah. The last one is how can you make sure they do? And this this is on you. This is on your marketing. Are you adding, you know, are you talking about social media? Are you building yourself a group? Are you just expecting random people off the street to buy your book? And right. And building that audience, you know, building that audience and how how are you going to do that? What's that look like? What are your interests? All kinds of things that we ca we came up with for you. So it's 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 um basically those four things, and um that's what you need to ask yourself. You know, when you're starting your book, those are the things you need to start with first. Not not the just the idea. I hear that one too. And I was telling Cindy before I got on air, is so many times I run into people and they'll say, Oh, I have a I've always had this book idea. Da, 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 da. And their book idea is great, and I think it's fantastic that they want to do it, but they don't have any audience. They don't know if it's even going to sell, and they put a lot of effort or spend a lot of money creating these these books. And um, whether it be the graphics design or or the you know writing of publishing those books and writing those out, and takes a lot of time. So um, you know that's the questions you need to ask yourself before you do that. 
That's right. And by answering these questions, Tammy, book hackers <laughs> every book they create. Yep. It's for audience content and eyes. These are the three things your books must have in order for somebody to buy it. If you don't know who the audience is, mm -hmm. nobody else is, they're not going to buy it. If you don't have good content that your audience wants, they're not going to yeah. buy it. And if you can't get eyes on your book, nobody's going to buy it. So these are the three main things you need to keep in mind when you're creating books to make sure that you ace it and your book sells and sells frequently. And tell us about ace. <laughs> <laughs> a is for audience. So you, the first thing you need to do is have a highly targeted audience. And the mm -hmm. more specific that you can get with your audience, the better. So don't just target moms, for example. Target preschool moms. Target moms with college kids. You get very, very specific. In fact, the more specific that you can get, the better off you're going to be. You're going to yeah. yeah. I think that's, that's something that is so important. And we talk about, we talk about niching down, but this is really the meat of the niching down. It, it's you know, moms is just too broad. It's just too it's broad. True. Yeah. So it's it's great to have, you know, like you said, moms with kids in college, moms with kindergartners, moms with preschoolers, mm -hmm. you know, and then you can go parents and then you can go dads and then, you know, you can <laughs> kind of go all, all over there. Um, right. And, right. And, that, and even moms of preschoolers might be too big. You might want to target moms of preschoolers who want to do homeschooling, moms yeah. of preschoolers who are looking to do outside crafts with their kids. So you need to figure out how you can keep going down further and further to get to a really tightly defined micro niche. Yeah. That's yeah. So that's, that's like the, the riches is in the niches and that's the <laughs> riches is the the good one. Yes. Or you can get <laughs> there, the better off you're going to be, the more likely you are being able to find people to get to buy your book. Well, actually that's backwards. The more likely it is for people to be able to find your book. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. So that's the A, that's the audience. Is there any more you want to add to that at all, or should we? Um, I think we covered come, that one. Let's just move on to the C, the content. Woo! <laughs> You've got to have engaging content. If you don't have good content, your book's not going to sell no matter no matter what, right? <laughs> so yeah. have good content. You research your target audience, right? There are different ways you can do that. You can go and if you have a friend in that niche, you can go and ask them, what kinds of things do you, are you looking for in a book? You can go online forums and on Facebook groups and, and do searches for things like problems, struggles, how to, to get an idea of things to put into your book. Yeah, and I find that to be where actually getting into a social media or now that we can meet up with people, if you just listen, and, or just read what people are saying, you'll see a common thread. And if you can find that common thread that people are having maybe issues with or a problem that you can solve, that's a great way to figure out, okay, I could write, maybe read a little research, but that, that's a good lead right there for your content. Right, and you know, just remember that just because they're low content doesn't mean they're low quality. You want to make mm -hmm. sure every book you create is a quality book. And, right. You, know, you want to focus on quality, not quantity. Not how yeah. many books you make, but how great the books are that you make. Well, it, it's going to pay off in the long run when it's quality. You know, you, everybody's been through, and that's kind of been the problem is everybody's just throwing a whole, I mean, people are doing thousands of books a day. I was blown away when I heard that story. Crazy. They will actually load a thousand books a day. <laughs> you even oh, know, for one thing. You've seen them too, where mm -hmm. you'll, have, you'll, you'll do some random search and then you'll see. Um, dog journal for this breed of dogs, dog journal for this breed of dog. And the only thing that's different is the, that one word in the cover, everything else is identical. And you know, the yeah. content is specific to any of the breeds, the comments are from people who bought the book are things like, hey, this doesn't have anything to do with my dots and dog, you know? Right, if, right. If they did, they and, used the keywords for those things and then yeah. that's it and then attracted the person. But you're not gonna get longevity out of that book. You're only gonna be a one and done. You know, it's gonna yeah. get, maybe the cover they like and they get it but once it just starts the reviews or it's just going to go downhill from there that people are spending hours and hours and hours doing this sort of thing and then not getting any reward afterwards they've wasted their time yeah that's they another thing too. yeah that nobody wants to buy it, it, yeah. I, do that. I don't want that for you you don't you know do that. that was that was one of the things we really we both talked about is we really want to help you 
learn how to do these tactics and, and do these right so that you will build a business around it. Basically, the book hackers are focused around building, building a business around creating great books. So um, not just making, I mean, the money is important, but not just always making money, but the money comes when it's a good quality book and you have the audience and you have good content and um, you'll, the money will follow. Right, right. That's, that's the important thing. About I think the key word there was building a business. This isn't just a hobby. You're not just dabbling mm -hmm. around with throwing up a bunch of different types of books where, you know, wherever the wind takes you, you're being focused on growing your business. You're being methodical about the books you put up. You are taking the time to research your target audience and mm -hmm. be the eyes. You're taking time to gather yourself, your own audience to sell your books to. So the ease, the mm -hmm. eyes, and that's getting eyes on your book with marketing. Yeah. And one of the best ways you can do that is to get yourself your own email list and have your own group of people that love your books. They're fans of your books. And every time you create a new book, you email your list and they all go out and buy it. It's the easiest way to make money making books is to get yourself your own email list. You know, the other thing you need to do, of course, are like the, uh, you know, the A-plus content. You have your author centrals, run mm -hmm. ads, and things of that nature. But being able to go out on social media and start collecting your own people is just vital to any business. That's the number one thing your business needs. Yeah, and you're, you're solving their problem with whatever you come up with. And they're becoming to trust them like you that you know that you're doing a quality book. They're going to buy more books from you because they've already had a good quality book come from you. So you're building that, that reputation. And so when you go to get their, when you get their email, we'll, we'll show you these things and talk about these things about email lists and how to build those. Cause I know when I first started, I didn't even think about that, building that list of people to be able, that's my audience. That's my target audience. And that's how I'm going to reach people. Mm -hmm. And I know in um, other business platforms, people talk a lot about that, but they don't talk about it for us as uh, book designers, as, as self publishers. We don't, ever here you should be getting email on email list hardly ever on the self-publishing side we just supposed to create these books and hope they sell well we don't want that for you we want you to actually make money in this business <laughs> right and, and another advantage of collecting your people onto your list is that you can then go to them and ask them directly what do you want mm -hmm. in a book and then right. you do that and now you have all these people who told you they want this in a book they're all ready to go buy your book I mean, easy money. Yes, yes. So you're building that pipeline of business. You're building that pipeline where it, it, it they they know, they like, they trust, all those things. That's what business people do. That's what we're going to be sharing with you. And as a book hacker, we want this for you. We want it to be something that is, um, like did you say, not just a hobby. This is actually a business that you have an income coming in from building these books and creating a brand if you like and doing those kind of things yeah yeah exactly so you just focus on a few brands instead of hundreds of random randomness yeah i mean you're not going to be able to do a good job of researching a hundred different target audiences you're gonna have yeah. some more luck if you have i mean i would just start with one yeah in the beginning when you first started like just start with one one you know Thought of content that you're thinking that would be a great for your audience, and then you know, we're, then build from there. But a lot of us, we get so excited. And I know Cindy and I are both like this. We have a lot of ideas, and we. And I was in my um, my business as well when I was working with I worked with businesses. I had like 15, 20 different businesses. Now I've narrowed it down to five that I really like to work with, and I go out there and do that. But you know, we're all we're all when you're an entrepreneur, you you're you're just like woo, all these tiny objects. But we really want, we're going to get you to focus. That's another part of the book hackers is really to focus, take action and build this business so it's sustainable for you and, um, and have fun doing it. I mean, Cindy and I are both, we both love to have fun. And we, like you said, when we we're doing the book hackers, we were just like, let's just make it fun. It is a great, how lucky are we to get to do something like self-publishing Yes. and, uh, you know, and build, build a business that we can, um, you know, travel and work and wherever we want. I was at the pool the other day, just, you know, working away, but he's like, how fortunate are we? So, um, yeah, I think so. The, like you said, 
let's go through the ACE really quick again and just kind of recap that if you kids can be. Okay, sure. The A is the audience. Mm -hmm. You got you to gotta know who your audience is. The C is the content. You've got to have great content that your audience wants. The E is eyes. You've got to be able to get your audience's eyes on your book so they know about it and then they're going to love it because you gave them great content and they're going to yeah. buy it. That's it in a nutshell. Ace it. <laughs> just ace. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. So, um, that, you know, I hope this kind of gives you a little bit. We're just, we're just going to give you a little uh, bits and pieces of these ideas. And, and we just thought the first one will just give you something to think about. And if you have questions or comments for us, please leave them in down below and, and uh, down there. <laughs> and then like and subscribe and tell your friends. That's, that would be great. Uh, we're, we're excited to build this platform for you and, and talk with you uh, weekly and um, come up with, share ideas that we have. We've gone through all our, you know, make it as easy as we can for you, that things that we've gone through. Exactly. So hopefully every week we, our, our plan is to share a, a different topic and to go more in depth than this one. This one was more high level. And we're going to yeah. dig into the details going forward and help you guys all become book hackers who sell every single book you create. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so um, one more thing is uh, I will let Cindy say what she's doing. And I'm super excited about this as well. So what is the big announcement for you? Early tomorrow, I'm jumping on a plane and headed to Colorado for <laughs> coming to see me and a few other people too, but me. So <laughs> it'll be so much fun. Yeah. And we're going to be doing something special just for when I'm in Colorado. Do you want to tell, tell me more? Me? Tell me more. <laughs> tell me more. <laughs> we are going to have a special offer for our Book Hacker 101 class and a special pre-launch that you can get into for a super reduced rate for the Book Hackers Club. And that cart will go live tomorrow morning until the end of Sunday. And those are the only those three days you'll be able to get this deal. After that, the prices are going to go up. So if you're at yep. all interested, I would get in now. For these so June 24th through 26th. 20th. Let me consult my calendar. <laughs> yeah, June 24th through June 26th, 2022. So if you're watching after that date, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's a special. But then. something else. And then especially. So, this is so exciting that you're coming out here. And we're also, if you're in the Colorado, northern Colorado, or you're driving by, um, please stop by on June 24th from 1 to 4. Um, direct message me for the address. We're, having, we're hosting our first book hackers meetup. So if you're in the area when Cindy's here, we're having a little get together. And uh, so we can all get together in person and meet and, and just talk, talk books. That's what we do. I we, so we, can, we can talk about other things, but we're, we're book hackers. So we like to talk about self-publishing. And then, um, like we said, we're doing a special right now. It's only going to last for that time that she's here. So you better jump on it. And if you're wondering what is Book Hacker um, 101, we, we'll explain a little bit about that to me. So it, it's going to be a uh, basically just take you through a process. Um, yeah, definitely. We're going to talk about our Book Hacker framework, which is the ACE method that we kind of very briefly high, le high level went through very high level went through here uh there'll be three modules a module for the for a audience for c content and for eis and we're going to go in depth onto each one of those so you'll have all the information you need and all of the knowledge to know how to go out and ace it for your yes. book yes i love it i love that so we'll have more information, but this is, like we said, this is just going to be um, for that weekend at she's here. We're doing the special. And then we have a book packers club. This is breaking ground for us. We're starting, starting this in August and um, we're starting to really get this whole platform set up for you so that you'll be able to have a community also build um, build your business, really, truly build a true self-publishing business. And that's why we're going to have a book hacker club, let alone just right. a podcast. So and you'll be a lot on relationships with other KDP authors and, that's, that's, and if you, can help each if other. You, 
I think that's that's the beauty. That's what we liked about Clubhouse when we first met up in Clubhouse. We were just all so excited to talk about <laughs> self-publishing because a lot of people in the outside of our self-publishing world don't even know what we're talking about most of the time. They're like KDP, self-publishing, print on demand, any of those things, they just don't know what we're talking about. So when you do meet up with someone like I did with Cindy, we can't shut up about it. But that's, yeah. what, that's what we like. <laughs> we love it that much. We're passionate about it, both of us. And if you want to go to the show notes, um, we'll have the book hackers email list and that'll be for the club and any information that we have. So get on the email list for sure. And um, that way you'll stay informed. Cart, I'll be down there too. Our special, our special cart for our book hackers 101. Yes, our yeah. cart, all the links we're talking about, we'll put everything in the show notes right down below. If you have questions, reach out to either one of us. And, um, We'll be and we'll have all like I said all the links there for you and we're gonna we're gonna rock this book hackers world right yes Woo! <laughs> okay well and I I think that's all I needed to say today but um, I don't know if you had anything else before we go I think we covered all the bases super excited about our first podcast hope Try you to keep liked us. it if you have any specific topics you'd like to see us cover going forward. Mm -hmm. Let us yeah. know. Yeah, yeah. So um, we here's the the first one. We're done for the first one to many more. Cheers, my friend. <laughs> All right. Thanks everybody. Thanks for joining. Like and share and subscribe. Bye bye. Bye. Thanks for listening. Join Cindy and Tammy each week for tips to help grow your self publishing business. Don't forget to like and follow us on social media as well as share with others who could benefit from our advice. Our website is bookhackers.us.